Hello, you lovely people, curl friends and guys. Welcome back to the channel, The Silver Crown. If this is your first time visiting with us, thank you so much for coming by. I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up and that you will subscribe and share it with your friends on social media outlet. And also, um, if this is not your first time, if you've been tracking with me uh, since I've had this channel, which has only been uh, a little bit over a year, a couple of years now, uh, I appreciate you being here and really happy new year to all of you guys and your family and friends. And thank you for hanging in there with me through my hair journey. Now, to get right into it, I wanted to give you guys an update on the apple cider vinegar that I started making last year for my natural hair because I didn't want to just keep buying it. Now, I have been buying it through the process of making it, but... I have my own and I'm ready to, I think I'm ready to strain it. I haven't tasted it yet. It's a little bit creepy, but <laughs> I'm going to do that. So I'm going to take you in the other room with me in my kitchen where it is and we can see how it's doing and, and all that good stuff. So hang in there with me for a minute. Okay, you lovely curl friends and guys. <clears throat> We're in my kitchen now and... As you can see the dates on these, this is when I started making this, this apple cider vinegar. I don't believe it really had to go this long, but I wanted the mother, you know, if you buy the brags and all that from the store and it says with the mother, well, that's the mother that's in those uh, vinegar bottles that you buy from the store. So anyhow, the next step in this process, mine has been going for a while now. Um, because I wanted it to get mature. I didn't want to bother it. But the next step in the process is to strain the apples out and uh, take the mother and the liquid and put it in a sterilized jar or put it back in the jar that it came out of and let it sit for another eight weeks. So it is a bit of a process. Um, but anyhow, so that's what's going to be happening next. I'm going to sterilize this jar and take this out uh, the apples out strain them out pour the liquid take the mother put it in there and put it in a dark place and just let it sit for another eight weeks and then we'll be giving an update on that all right there you go so i have all my apples strained out and transferred and what you see floating in here in the bottom is the mother that grew in two of my, well, all three of these bottles. It was a little bit too much to fit all of it in here because I had two gallons. So it looks like I actually, since between September and now, lost about a half a gallon, I guess, of uh, liquid by evaporation. So this has to sit for another couple of months, if you can believe that. It really, it doesn't smell like vinegar, yet. It just smells like apples, I don't know why. But anyway, uh, my understanding is it has to sit a little bit longer and, um, and then it'll be ready. So there you go, I hope you uh, understood any, everything. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you next time.